CompTIA A plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.7 Compare and Contrast Internet Connection Types, Network Types, and Their Features. Internet Connection Types An Internet Service Provider, or ISP, is a company or organization that provides individuals, businesses, and other entities with access to the Internet. ISPs are responsible for connecting customers to the Internet through various technologies. Wired technologies include fiber optics, cable, and DSL. Wireless technologies include satellite and cellular. With each option, there are typically a range of subscription plans that vary in terms of throughput speeds and pricing designed to meet the needs of different users. Another consideration is location. Not all connection types are available in all areas. Now that we know what an ISP is, let's discuss each of the available connection types, one at a time. Fiber optic is a type of wired internet connection that utilizes fiber optic cables to transmit data. It is considered one of the fastest and most reliable forms of internet connectivity available today. Fiber optic cables are made of thin strands of glass or plastic, known as optical fibers. These fibers are designed to transmit data using pulses of light. Fiber optic internet connections can be relatively more expensive compared to some other types of internet connections and are commonly deployed by ISPs in urban areas. Cable internet is a type of wired internet connection that utilizes the same coaxial copper cabling that is used for cable television transmission to deliver high-speed internet access to homes and businesses. It provides sufficient speeds for most homes and small businesses, but falls short of the speeds possible with fiber optic connections. As a plus, cable internet is usually cheaper than fiber optic connections and has a larger coverage area. As a slight downside, the copper cable medium does result in a shared customer bandwidth. DSL, or Digital Subscriber Line, is a type of wired internet connection that uses existing copper telephone lines, traditionally known as POTS or plain old telephone service, to transmit data. It is a popular alternative to cable and fiber optic connections in areas where these options may not be available. To establish a DSL connection, a DSL modem is required. The modem connects to the telephone line and translates the digital data from the user's devices into signals that can be transmitted over the copper telephone lines. DSL is relatively slow compared to fiber optic and cable connections, but DSL tends to be more cost efficient. And since it uses the existing telephone network, coverage is pretty widespread. Satellite Internet is a type of wireless internet connection that uses communication satellites and satellite antennas to provide internet access to users. It is a viable option for areas where traditional wired connections like fiber optic, cable, or DSL are not available or practical, usually due to a lack of existing infrastructure. While satellite may be your only option in a remote location, it is probably going to be expensive and slow. This connection type is expensive because a satellite internet service provider operates a network of communication satellites in geostationary orbit around the Earth. And this connection type is slow because these satellites are positioned approximately 35,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface. It takes a fair amount of time for a radio signal to travel 35,000 kilometers to the satellite and then back down again, causing data latency. And if you have bad weather like a rainstorm interfering with your radio signals, just forget it. Cellular Internet, also known as Mobile Internet, is a type of wireless internet access that utilizes cellular networks to provide connectivity to devices such as smartphones, tablets, and laptops. It enables users to access the internet while on the go or traveling without relying on fixed wired connections. Each device will have an antenna that allows it to connect to a cellular network infrastructure. This infrastructure consists of a system of interconnected base stations, or cell towers, that are strategically placed to provide coverage over a specific geographic area. 
Lastly, I would like to add one more wireless connection type to the mix. This one is Wireless Internet Service Providers, also known as a WISP. A WISP uses fixed wireless technology to provide internet access in areas that might not be served by wired connection options. With this connection type, a small dish or antenna is installed at your location to connect to the provider's tower. WISPs can be a great option in rural or underserved areas. The setup is relatively simple and doesn't require extensive infrastructure. However, like satellite internet, it can be susceptible to weather conditions and might offer lower speeds compared to wired connections. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.